So what are binary features? Binary features are an alternative to the popular SIF descriptor and they are faster to compute and more compact and are therefore attractive whenever you have mobile robots or autonomous cars that navigate through the environment and need to solve their state estimation problems in an online fashion. Uh, so what are features? Uh, features are typically distinct points in my image and the descriptor gives me a signature so it describes the key point that I'm considering. It basically does so by extracting a local neighborhood around that point, so a local image patch, and computes a signature from this local patch. I want to dive today a little bit into the brief descriptor, which is a simple binary descriptor, but which is quite powerful. And it becomes important whenever you build visual slam systems that are supposed to run online, or you want to establish stereo correspondences between multiple image pairs, or solve a place recognition task. Then you can use those features. So let's have a small example where we have one image like the image here from Venice and we want to compute um, the binary descriptor of a local image point like the chimney point over here. So we extract a local neighborhood out of that image and then want to turn this image into a big uh, signature of bits of zeros and ones. So once we have the, such a signature for all locally distinct points in the image we can actually take a second image perform the operations on the second image as well, and then establish, for example, correspondences between those features, which is again important if you want to compute the relative orientation of the image pair, for example. And those binary strings, or these zero and one strings, are computed in a very simple fashion for the brief descriptor. They are basically worked by comparing pixel intensities one to one. So let's say, let's sample two pixel location as one and as two, and then we compare the intensity values of these sampled pixel locations in my local patch. And if the intensity value at S1 is smaller than the intensity value at S2, I return a 1, otherwise I return a 0. And if I do this for a set of pairs, I can use this to actually come up with a signature over here. So let's have a small example. This image over here, or this local patch of, with 9 pixels, and then we can compare pixels with each other. So if we sample, for example, pixel number 5 and pixel number 1, so we compare the pixel in the center with the top left pixel, then we see that the one in the center is brighter than the one on the top left, and therefore the, res the comparison would return 0. Same holds for 5, 9 and 4, 6, so we in both cases would get a 0. If we, for example, uh, sample 8, 2, then 8 is darker than 2, and then would return a 1, and the same holds for 3, 7, we would also return a 1. So the signature, or the bit string, that would gener be generated for that image would be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, and that would be my signature. If we do this by sampling locations at which we want to compute our um, signature, where we don't do the comparisons, of course we have to sample that order and then keep it fixed Otherwise, uh, we would, of course, generate different signatures for the same image patch, which is obviously something we do not want. Um, so what the brief descriptor does, it provides you a sampling sequence and then you work yourself over the sequence, perform the comparisons, get your zeros and ones, and then you're there. If you now want to compare two bit strings A and B, for example, that can be done in a very simplistic fashion by just computing the XOR operation over those two bit strings and count the numbers of ones. And this gives you a distance. The larger the distance, the further those um, descriptors differ. And that's very fast to do and very handy. So what I explained to you so far was basically the brief descriptor. There are other variants such as ORB or BRISC. ORB, for example, is a very popular extension of brief which combines fast key points with an optimized version of the brief descriptor. So it is rotation invariant. Um, so if you rotate your image, or B will give you still roughly the same descriptor or the same signature, whereas brief will not. And or B does this by just estimating the main orientation within that local image patch based on the grayscale values and then um, perform the rotation of those sample points. And that's a very easy and very powerful way to compute signatures. So in sum, ORB is an alternative to SIFT and SURF, which is very popular and has been used in several visual SLAM algorithms successfully. And it's surprisingly simple, surprisingly simple for me that it works so well, 
but it does and it's easy to compute and so you can actually use this in order to build your SLAM systems with a solid performance in terms of matching performance as well as speed. I hope that was useful and gave you an idea how binary features work. Thank you.